you have been invited to take part in this research study. The study wants to find out if this is uh, genetic, like is it inherited from our parents and great great parents. Okay. So for the NeuroGAP study, we collect saliva and then extract DNA from it. And once we've extracted DNA from it, we have the cases, we have the controls, so we match them for age, ethnicity, and uh, we're hoping to see differences between these populations. And those results should be able to tell us whether some of the mental illnesses or some of the mental disorders that we see um, have any um, hereditary uh, traits or, or, or rationale behind them. Working with our networks across the African continent, we managed to bring together a team from Ethiopia, Uganda, uh, Kenya and South Africa and set up a project that set for itself ambitious targets of reaching more than 30,000 uh, people across the continent, uh, collecting samples but also contributing to the neuropsychiatric research environment in those countries in the hope that the work that we would do would not only contribute to the global database, but would also leave uh, sustainable footprints in the areas that we are working in, improving the research infrastructure, improving care for our patients with chronic uh, severe illness, and also improving the profile of mental health interventions in our countries. It has a capacity building part and it has very interesting interactions and collaborations between the people in the Eastern Hemisphere and the ones in the Western Hemisphere, across the Atlantic. Yep. NeuroGAP should be that beacon that reminds the global scientific community that equity is also a consideration in research and we shouldn't only be focusing on our small corners of the globe.